Much has changed since this time last year. The invisible enemy stalking the world has now fully invaded Canada. No one could have guessed what the next 12 months would bring. The one thing that hasn't changed is the need. It felt like we were taken care of by people that we didn't even know, and it felt wonderful. Then I seen him and he just had tears rolling down his cheeks just because he couldn't physically do it. You can't wheel through sand in a manual chair, you can't. If, if you are thinking about donating, um, just know that you will change someone's life for the better. The need for understanding, compassion and kindness never goes away, nor does the generosity of Saskatchewan people. Those that need help today say, please give. Those that have been helped in the past say, thank you. So come on, Saskatchewan, let's do what we always do. Let's start a fire, lend a hand, and go higher. Come on, let's start a fire. We know what it means if we go higher. Lend a hand to one another. We're stronger when together. Make miracles happen cause it's in you. When you let your love. Welcome everyone to the Kinsman and Ken uh, Telemiracle 45. I'm your host, Beverly Mahood. And I'm Jeffrey Straker. You know, I say this thing, same thing every year that when we open up the show, I can't believe it's been a year since we put that final total up and made miracles happen for people in need. That's right, Beverly. I feel just like you, so lucky to be here to be part of this. This is Saskatchewan's charity, a 20-hour telethon. The race is money to help people right here in our province. And with that, I'd like to take a second to acknowledge the land that we're here upon filming tonight. Here in Treaty 6 territory and homeland of the Métis, and reaffirm a dedication to honoring and respecting the spirit of reconciliation. You know, I love the theme this year. Together we are family. This is my 24th year hosting Telemiracle, and I am honored to be here with all of you. I have always felt that you Saskatchewan are my family, and nothing is more 
important to me than being here with you. Of course, we think of you as family. Beverly, it wouldn't be Tell America without you. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. All right, the funds that Tell America raises are going to help people access medically related travel and medical devices that they simply otherwise couldn't afford. These are miracles for them, and they are life changing. They definitely are and you know this year has been a change for all of us and maybe right now is the time to stop and think about those that have maybe been going through a rougher time than some of us and because of that the one thing that has changed is the need for Telemiracle. That has not changed. It hasn't. And since Telemiracle started back in 1977, Beverly, it has changed the lives of thousands of people and the requests for funds keep coming in. We knew this year that even though we're in a pandemic year, that we had to find a way to keep the telethon going. And we're doing just that with the help of new technologies here in this safe and healthy television environment. And even though you can't be with us here in the studio, Saskatchewan, we know that you're at home in the safety and comfort of your homes, waiting to call in a donation, and for that, we are grateful. We are definitely grateful, and I know that they're all out there watching us, but isn't it great that we can also still keep doing some of the old traditions that we all love? We'll see familiar faces, we'll see new faces, and throughout the show, we're going to take a look back at some of our favorite moments from the past 45 years. And of course, the very important thing, and a part of our show, is all of your Saskatchewan talent. Cannot wait for that. They're a big part of our show. Sure. And we love it. So, Jeffrey, is this your 10th year hosting Telemiracle? You are right. This is year number 10. I don't know where the years have gone. Each and every one of those years has felt really special. This year is feeling special already. There is nowhere I would rather be this weekend than here with you and the rest of the cast making these miracles happen. Well, right back at you, Jeffrey. And you know what? I think it's time to get this party started. So let's meet the rest of the cast. For the next 20 hours, you'll be guided, informed, and entertained by Andrea Menard, Beverly Mahood, Brad Johnner, Chris Henderson, Jeffrey Straker, Jill Straker, Jess Moskalu. Lisa Moen, Mac Shepard, and the Telemiracle House Band. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Telemiracle 45. All right, so I think we're in for a great show. Andrea and Brad are here with us. So I think, you know, to start this party, I think we should do a knockdown. You That's know, because they've got to get there and, and, and ring those phones. The number is 306-683-2021. People have already been Stand giving up. to Tell Miracle through the 50-50 draw. They have, they so have. So we want to see how much, how much funds have been donated so everybody. far, raised so far. Let's see what we got. Woo. Let's Get up on your feet, Brad, what do you think? Let's, 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 let's bring those Stand phones, Saskatchewan. Come on. Come on. Six, eight, three, three, two, one. Rain those bones. Let's do Rain it. Rain those bones. Rain those bones. Now remember, we've got people downstairs. That we've got a whole room of people spread out all across the room. Fifteen phones on the stage. Yep. Twenty more phones back behind the screen. Let's get them sitting down, folks. We know one Rain thing people always love bones. to do is wait till the Rain end of the telethon to dial in the donations. Rain don't do that. No, don't do that. Come on, you know, bring those phones right now. Make your Rain pledge, make your donation. Phones. We want them now. And there's our Telemiracle Teddy. Hi, Daddy. He's the first I've seen Telemiracle <laughs> Teddy. Oh, knocked him down. Yes, he Hi. looks good. We got him all knocked down? We got the one. Oh, no, we got him down, downstairs. Let's see. We got downstairs. We got right, there look we at those go. guys all. There, there we go. go. Oh, yeah. So we have oh, a total. Oh, we do as well. All right. All right. So we got, thank you, Saskatchewan. Thank you so much. $20. And of course, we're going higher. Oh, higher we're going definitely higher. going higher. We're definitely we just going higher. Started, but let's do this. Because Saskatchewan, what you have to do is ring those phones and we got to go higher. You know, as we said, this year is different for all of us. And I just want to do a shout out to all our kin folk because, I mean, usually this place is covered with all the volunteers and they're running around doing whatever they can to make sure that their telethon goes as well as it can. You, so a you, big shout out to all of and, our kin. And usually we've got about a thousand kin here. This year, a lot of them are back out there in their communities leading up to Telemiracle. They've been just, instead of coming here to volunteer this week,
weekend they've been raising funds in their communities to take that total higher. So they're still with us. They are still with us. And some other faces that I I'm missing as well is, of course, our Tell America house band. And they got to do some things before. So did some pre-recording uh, songs for myself, I think for you as well, Jeffrey, all indeed. the other artists. But this year is very special because they are actually doing a tune of their own. And we're going to start with that. So, so I just want to do a shout out to Sheldon and Glenn and Don and Jack and Dave. Here is their song, When Love Came to Town. I was a sailor, I was lost at sea. Under the waves, before love rescued me. I was a fighter, I could turn on a threat. Still I stand accused of the things I said. Now when love comes to town, I'm gonna catch their train. When love comes to town, I'm gonna catch their flame. Maybe I was wrong to ever put you down. But I did what I did before love came to town. And there you have it, previously recorded in a safe environment, the Tell a Miracle House Band. And uh, lead vocals, Jack Semple there, by the way. Awesome job, very funky band. Okay, time now to go to actually a friend of mine who's representing Nutrien. And we have him uh, by video tonight with his family I see back there, Mr. Fern Bhutan. How are you doing tonight, Fern? 
We're doing very well. How are you, Brad? Well, Ray, I was thinking just before the interview here how much we actually have in common. We both married French teachers. We go to the same church. We're both getting a little gray on top. We have a slew of kids, and we love telling miracles. So it's good to have you here. Absolutely. Right on. Glad to be here. So now uh, you've been involved you? with Telemiracle before through Nutrien? Yes. So Nutrien, uh, we've been participating with Telemiracle for nine years and have donated $2.5 million so far. Wow. So this year, we are, again, set another goal to contribute another $100,000 by matching donations brought in by the Saskatchewan performers. In addition to matching those donations brought in by the performers, we also challenged our nearly 4,000 Saskatchewan-based employees to support Telemiracle 45, and we matched their dollars as well. Well, that's just fantastic. We are so yeah. excited every year when we, when we hear that Nutrien is on board. We're sorry we didn't get a chance to come and visit you guys. We usually come over in, to the office and visit with all of you guys and eat your donuts and and get a chance to see you. Of course, with COVID, we didn't get a chance there this year. Hey, would you quickly introduce your family back there, your boys? Sure. Oh, you got a girl back there I too. Everybody, Luke I can't right see here. for the camera. We got Luke, Leo, Ben, my wife, Jennifer, and our daughter, Anna. Oh, great. Well, thank you for all being on here tonight. And we appreciate that. Hopefully, we'll, maybe we'll see you in, in church next Sunday. Sounds great. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks, Fern. And Fern. we are so thankful for you all. Take care. Yeah, thank you very much. See you again. All right, so let's get that Nutrien money working for us. Let's start off with our Saskatchewan talent. Joining us right now from Regina is Annette Summerfield. Hello, Annette. Hi. Hello, Beverly. How are you? I am great. You look beautiful. How are you doing? You're doing well? How are you? I'm great. We're so excited to be here. We're excited that you're with us. Now, you are from the Summerfield School of Highland Dance. About how many dancers are there? So tonight, you are going to see four of our premier dancers. They are Courtney Hereda, Lauren Farkas, Liesl Hereda, and Shannon McCrary. And so how has it been uh, rehearsing and getting this dance ready for what we're about to see? So a lot of what we have rehearsed has been through Zoom and we've been lucky enough to be able to rehearse in person a little bit and we're really excited actually tonight to have some live musicians playing for us thanks to Tell a Miracle for helping us to make that happen. So tonight you're going to see Radha Kareda, um, Alex Rasmussen, Finley Calder Rasmussen and Jared Dorme also playing. Oh, wow. Well, this is very exciting. Now, you did some raising of funds, and how did you do that? And then maybe tell us how much you raised. Yes, our dancers and their moms and their dads and their siblings all have spent the last number of months fundraising for Telemiracle. They have hosted some bottle drives. Our Telemiracle um, page was live, and it's still live if you'd like to donate to it. And the dancers also created, sold, and distributed Highland Dancer Christmas ornaments. And we're very proud to share that we have raised a total of $1,800 for oh Tell a Miracle. Wow, $1,800. That is amazing, Annette. Thank you to all your dancers, your families, and everything that you did to raise that money. So is there anything you want to tell us about this dance we're about to see? We are performing a set called Dancing Feet, which is off of the album called The Bridge by West of Mabu, which is an award-winning Celtic band from Saskatchewan. And we are just so thankful to Tell a Miracle for providing us an opportunity to, to share our passion for music and for dance. And um, we hope that you enjoy their show. Well, we're looking forward to it. Some Regina, the Summerfield School of Highland Dance.
Tell her, thank you very much, Summerfield School of Highland Dance. All right, Tell a Miracle 45. We wouldn't have Tell a Miracle without our teddy bear. So I would like to bring attention. It's never too late to call in, it, never too early, I should say, to call in and donate for a Tell a Miracle Howie. This year, this is Tell a Miracle Howie. Howie is named after Gordy Howe, Saskatchewan's own Gordy Howe. And of course, just like every other year, Tell a Miracle Howie can be yours with a donation of $145 or more, and you must request it when you call in. So this little, or telemiracle.com, you can absolutely call, um, put in a donation because it is, we have been internet savvy this year, wouldn't you say? So now let's all call in for a beautiful bear, Tell a Miracle Howie, $145 or more. All right. Well, if you ever wonder where some of the Telemiracle dollars go, you have to look no further because we have a testimonial of a family, uh, the Fison family from uh, a farm outside of Asquith. And uh, watch this and, we'll, and, and check out their story. My name is Brian Fison. I was in a snowmobile accident in 2004 and left me paralyzed from the waist down. I was a cattle farmer before working at a feedlot and farming and when I got hurt I lost the use of my legs and I had to find out, figure out new ways to get around and I struggled for a lot of years with just a regular chair out in the snow and dirt and mud. I, you're in a regular wheelchair, they, your tires just sink. I wasn't independent like for putting out bales in the winter time. I couldn't go cut the twines. I couldn't open gates. I was all relying on my wife to help me with that. We had just moved here and it was just a sand pit. Everywhere was sand. And I had just seen Brian, he was trying to get from point A to point B across the yard and I seen him and he just had tears rolling down his cheeks just because he couldn't physically do it. You can't wheel through sand in a manual chair, you can't. I didn't want to rely on somebody else to do the chores for me and um, once I got this chair, I realized what I can do with it. I need to be able to do everything independently. I can go out, go through gates, round up my cattle, bring them up, feed them. I can dig in fence posts. I can fix top wires on fence. I can reach small sheds. I was just doing some roofing the other day with it. It's impossible with a regular wheelchair. Not only has this chair allowed him to continue farming, it's allowed him to now expand the farm and really fulfill his dreams. And there you go, and guess who we have here? The Fison family came in from Asquith. Thanks for coming uh, all this way from Asquith. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we really appreciate you coming in here and bringing Everly with you as well. <laughs> so we have Brian and Christ Christy and, and Everly, and, uh, and you brought the chair. We I saw did. you. We saw you pull up out, out front with the, with the chair on one of the trailer, and uh, wow, that thing looks like it can go through anything. It's life changing for me, that's for sure. So you you were in a regular chair for like 15 years, and that's yeah, a little bit tougher. A regular chair, you don't get very far. Uh, you get into any snow and sand, you just spin. Your sure. tires just spin. And yeah, yeah. This thing's a life changer, definitely in the winter to feed cows when we got that big snowfall in November and it was four feet of snow and this is the only thing that would get around my yard actually. <laughs> is that right? So. Wasn't Christy, weren't you telling me that you got, you had to go to the end of the lane with yeah, this thing? Yeah, he got stuck at the end of the driveway in the truck and uh, there was no way for him to get into the yard in his manual chair. So I drove this out to the end of the driveway so he could get back to the house and figure out what he needed to do to get the truck <laughs> unstuck. <laughs> That's fantastic. So now you can, yeah, you can stand up taller than you were before and you can hold hands with Everly there and go for walks and walk down our driveway and I can reach twines cutting bales yeah. and fencing and every single day he's out there on it he loves it yeah I see it's it you know it's not in the cleanest shape either you've been through a lot <laughs> no there'll be a little stuff left on your carpet after this maybe <laughs> is that is that one thing she says you clean your tracks off before you come in my house <laughs> that's right she says that for sure this well thanks outside it's too big in the house <laughs> in the garage, you better yeah. leave that outside is right <laughs> yeah. well thank you very much i mean again people have to see where telemiracle dollars go mm. and that's just a life changer it's a life changer for me and for us and yeah for sure and uh, well we really appreciate you coming out here and showing us that and uh and we we just hope we can help 
with people's donations help more people like yourselves in, in situations like that and maybe you can get them a, a better a chair and a, and a better way of life. We're grateful for it every grateful. single day. Well, we appreciate you coming here. Couldn't Thanks be any more happier to have this because we could have never afforded to buy this. So. Yeah, because you mentioned it's, it's about $25,000 yeah. machine and uh, it, it wasn't really available here in Canada until just a couple years ago. I had to do some research and then finally there a dealer in Alberta and I reached out and I've actually had a lot of people reach out to me to come try it at my farm too for other people with disabilities that struggle to get around. Sure, when somebody sees you in that, they're going to go, hey, I want an Iron Man too, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was life changing for me. Well, that's awesome. Thank you very much for coming out and uh, Thank you. have a safe trip home and uh, enjoy that chair. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Okay. Everly. That's Everly. awesome. Okay, Jeffrey, we're going to pass it over to you and uh, take it away. Thank you very much, Brad. What, what a moving story. I, yeah. I absolutely love that. And uh, Brian and Christy and the family uh, just had an a, a absolute life change from having that, that help from the telethon. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, one of the things we're going to be doing uh, at Tell a Miracle 45 this year is looking back at, uh, you know, speaking of special moments, looking back at special moments from previous shows as well as having shout outs from previous cast members um, from previous shows. And we're actually uh, going to do that throughout the whole broadcast. And we've got one of those for you right now. Uh, we're going to have a quick video chat. Of course, these are, gonna, these are all pre recorded and coming to us uh, via video. And we're going to hear from Glorianne. Prophet. Now, Glorianne was actually on the very first Telemiracle. Uh, she is a Juno nominee for the most promising female vocalist back in 1978, and she was the best country female vocalist at the Junos in 1980. So, take a look at this. We're going to hear a shout out from Glorianne Prophet. Telemiracle 45, what a milestone. Hi, I'm Glorianne Prophet. And you know, it doesn't seem that long ago when I was taking part in the initial Telemiracle Saskatchewan. And what I remember is the enthusiasm of people with their time, talent, and their financial support. You know, thousands of lives have been changed for the better because of your donations. And the money stays right here in Saskatchewan. Well, Telemiracle 45 is ready to do this again with your help. So let's do this. Ring those phones. Oh, wow, Gloria, she looked great. And you know what she finished that with? She finished by saying, ring those phones. And we know <laughs> the phones have been ringing because... They have. We're because gonna... let's do a knockdown. Exactly. It's, it's, time, it's, time, it's time to let's get them knocked down now. and keep, keep, keep the calls Everybody coming in. Everybody stand up. And get those phones So come ringing. on, Saskatchewan. You know the number. 306-683-2021. Stand up. Let's get you let's get on them. the come phones. On. Let's get them. And then we have a whole room ring of people downstairs. Ring those phones. Ring those phones. Ring those phones. Come on. Let's go, folks. Come on, everybody out there in Yorkton, in Melbourne, all those communities across Saskatchewan. We know and love We know you. there's a lot of communities. All those little nooks and crannies that you talk about. That's and right. We've got a whole room downstairs. Let's get the ones downstairs That's sitting right. down too, because there they are. There you can see them. Andrew, we've got 15 here They're on the stage. On the we've house. got 20 downstairs. 20 downstairs. And, and, there's and another the 20 and in another, another room. room. Saskatchewan. Yeah. Get those phones so ringing. We've got Make people to right talk now. to you. There we go. Oh, well, let's have a total. We Great have a total. job, Saskatchewan. All right, let's see what we got, Saskatchewan. We got a total. Oh, shout it out. Three, six, five, nine, eight, three. Wow. All right, because you guys just were doing what we asked you to do, getting those phones ringing. We know that you're just sitting there waiting to see some more Saskatchewan talent, and so am I. Joining us from Regina is Tanner and Jared. Hello, Tanner and Jared. Hello, hello. Well, hello. How are you two doing tonight? We're doing just fine, and how about you guys? Oh, we couldn't be better. We're here with you, so, I mean, what what's not to love, right? Exactly. Exactly. Now, you are from the Crosby Harley Band. How many are in the band? There is five of us at the moment. Five of us at the moment. Does it does it get bigger or smaller sometimes? Uh, it, it depends on the show, I guess you could say. Yes. Usually I, I, smaller. Yep, I know what that's like. I do know what that's like. Now, you guys uh, did some raising of funds. How did you do that? We did. Um, actually, we put on two live stream fundraiser concerts. Uh, one we did on February 6th, and the second was on February 13th. 
So we did those live from our Facebook page, and uh, it was a great turnout, and uh, it was really good to play live for a lot of people that enjoy listening to our music again. It, it, it does feel good, and I think we were kind of missing that during this time. So getting out there to do it again, it feels great, but then also you raised some money as well. Can I ask how much you raised? I think we hit around the $600 mark. So good. That is so good. Now, tonight, what are you going to be performing for us? Um, do you want to take this one, Tanner? We'll be playing The Rambling Man by the Allman Brothers. Ah, uh, well, that sounds great. Thank you for the money that you raised. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing this song from you guys. So here they are, the Crosby Harley Band it from Regina. See you guys later. Crosby Harley, sounded great with the Ramblin' Man there. Okay, we've got the Queen City uh, Kinets here and uh, they've got a live presentation for us. Who do we have over there behind the plexiglass? I'm uh, Heidi Forsyth. And I'm Margaret Manns. From the Regina Queen City Cadets. So this year, of course, with our COVID pandemic, we weren't able to have our 17th annual Ladies' Night. So right. we kind of had to think outside the box. I've been to that Ladies' Night. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> and uh, so this year we did, uh, we thought outside the box, we had a stakeout. Oh. Yeah, a stakeout night with uh, Brown Social House. And we sold fun script gift cards, and we did got donations from a lot of our past attendees from the uh, from the ladies' nights, and and some friends as well, and helped us out with our total. Awesome, which is twenty six hundred dollars. There you go, twenty six hundred dollars. You guys, rate. that's fantastic in a COVID environment. It is. It wow, is good sure. job. Thank you very much for coming here today and uh, and presenting that. And of course, we hope next year we'll have be able to have the ladies Thank night you. and raise even and more money again yes, for right. Telemiracle. Right. Thank you ladies for coming. Thanks Brad. Thank okay. You. And we've got a, uh, a video here. You've got to check this out. This is the cutest thing ever. Hi, I'm Annalie. 
Last year when I watched Telemiracle, I really wanted to support and give some money. So this year I've raised $20 and, I've, and I really want to give it to Telemiracle. Aww. Isn't wow. that the sweetest thing? So cute. We got to so play that. Can you play that again? Because I don't know, that went by so fast and that's so <laughs> cute. You got to check that out again. Hi, I'm Annalie. Last year when I watched Telemiracle, I really wanted to support and give some money. So this year I've raised $20 and, I've, and I really want to give it to Telemiracle. Well, Anna Lee, thank you very much for the $20. That's going to go a long ways. Very cute. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, speaking of cute, we have a past performer. We are celebrating our Saskatchewan talent who are always there for us, raising funds and sharing their talent for the people of Saskatchewan. So I'd like to introduce Berkeley Derwinuski. Now she's going to be here with us. There she is. Hi, Berkeley. How are you today? Good. Good. Now, how old are you? Seven years old. Seven years old. And this isn't your first time on Telemiracle, is it? No. No, you're a pro at our show. Well, I'm so happy. I know you're from Warman, and I hear that you did some fundraising for us. What did you do? Um, me and my brother. Um, sang for Telemiracle. You raised money, right? You could tell me. Oh, yeah. Um, me and my sister Berkeley raised money for Telemiracle, and we ended up raising $636. Okay, what? $636 during a pandemic. Now, that just amazes me. Now, let's, let's hear from the beautiful... Um, so let me, let me hear from the rest of your family. What's everybody's name there? I'm Aiden. Hi, Aiden. I'm Rob. Rob. And I'm Hockley. Oh, Hockley and Berkeley. Well, so nice of you to be giving us your time and giving your energy to tell a miracle for the people of Saskatchewan. So what are you going to be singing for us today? Mm, somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, well, here we go, folks. Let's hear from Berkeley Daronowski. Thanks for coming.
Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow, Amazing. Berkeley, that is the cutest thing I've seen tonight for sure. Wow. Okay, I've got a great story here um, and a great generous gift from George Wilson. Now, this story, he sounds like he was a heck of a guy. George was born in 1924 in the Insinger District of Saskatchewan. During his school years, he met his life partner, Marie Rollick. An entrepreneur by nature, listen to this, he made his first dollar running wolves on horseback with his two hound dogs by his side. George and Marie married in 1949, along with farming and mink ranching, they started a trucking business, which eventually grew into road construction. George had a, was a hardworking man, a pioneer in the road building industry, and was always passionate about helping children in need. Being born and raised in this great province, George was proud to call Saskatchewan home. His personal hardships and life-changing experiences sparked his need for giving, and Telemiracle and the Kinsman Foundation always held a special place in his heart. Granddaughter Danielle recalls sitting in the living room with her grandparents watching Telemiracle on TV and learning the importance of generosity. It warms her heart to know that they're both in a better place, watching this moment with proud smiles on their faces and chanting, ring those phones. George passed away in 2019 at the age of 95. Kinsman Telemiracle would like to thank George for his generous gift of $100,000. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh wow. My yeah, wow. there you go. Wow. Oh George my goodness. Wilson. Wow. 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 Isn't that something? Amazing. That is, he had that quite is the amazing. life, too. It, wow. Running wolves with his hound dogs. <laughs> That's incredible. That yeah. is incredible. He lived to a ripe old age of 95. I, I wish you had that in your bio. I, I, I wish I could write this in, in <laughs> I, my... I know, I know. When I give the tell a miracle in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were right by saying right off the bat that he seemed like a heck of a guy. Yeah, oh, absolutely. For sure. And I, I love that that part of what they loved doing was sitting and watching tell a miracle and seeing the generosity. And you know, that gets to me, too. When we read these bequests, it just... It can't help but touch your heart to see the generosity in this province, and, and I just can't tell you how much that, that means to us, but $100,000, incredible. Whew. Thank you so much. And that they thought of Telemiracle in the plan giving, you know, it, it, it's really incredible. That, really. That, that is definitely incredible. Thank you so much. Now, um, one of the things we do here uh, uh, as, we, as we host the show, we, we talk about the generous uh, donations that come in through bequests, through, through all sorts of people across the province, but one of the other things we do is we perform. Yes, we do. We can do that. Every now and then we get to perform a song, and I, and I, I, I think we'd like to introduce our, 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 our next act, which happens to be Cast. It happens to be Cast. Actually, he has the same amount of years on Telemiracle as me. It's our very own Brad Johnner with his boys. Yeah, 24 years Brad has been with, with the Telethon. He and his boys are big hits here on the show from right here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Big, big, big fan base here. So they're going to perform a number for us, obviously pre-recorded in a COVID-safe environment. This is Living Big. Okay, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we're going to play a song that I wrote a number of years ago. It's uh, going out to everybody from a small town. This one's called Living Big. One, two, three, four! Bobby and Tina don't need a lot. They fit a big, big love in a small map dot. She works the morning shift. He's on the overnight. But when the weekend hits and it's day and night, by moonlight he holds her real tight. And by midnight, it's a little thing in a little town. Grab the wheel, find the field, watch the stars from the car with the top down. Dixie so cuts a wild Terry Queen take out. Yeah, tonight they're living big in a little town. Full of daisies, a Hershey bar, too. A wild look in his eyes, he waxed the Malibu. Puts on her poison tank top with the black knee highs. Grabs her leopard skin purse, cause it's day and night. They're in the moonlight, he pulls her real tight and by On the edge of 
Okay, we've got the uh, the Yorkton Kinsman Club here, and uh, the way you guys were cutting it to the wire, we got here about ten <laughs> seconds ago. So that's good. Glad to have you here. So, uh, who are you, and uh, and what do you have to present? Well, my name is Elmer Hollinger. I'm Justin Demery. Hi guys. Uh, we're here representing the Kinsmen and the Canuts tonight. Yeah. Uh, so the Kins, the Canuts, uh, they had a few things going on. They had a bullathon, which with COVID got cancelled. But everybody that raised money, the, the pledges kept, come, kept coming in. So yeah. okay. we had Helping Hands, uh, Toy Bingo, and club donations. So the Canets total was $5,000. Great. Fantastic. And then the uh, Kinsmen, we, uh, we raised about 2600 at the senior courts. The schools donated 3900 through Helping Hands and Bingos. Um, we canvassed the businesses in town for $6,000. We had about 3,500 in personal donations. And then uh, the Kinsmen, we have a radio bingo every Saturday night. And for the month of February, we donated $1 for every card sold, okay. which totaled $16,000 wow. for the month, which brought us to a grand total of 36,953.77. Wow. There you go. The Yorkton Kinsmen Club, the Kinnets and the Kinsmen. 36.953. Wow, in a COVID year, that's pretty darn pretty good. good. You must be proud of yourself. Yeah. Every year you come through big, but that's fantastic numbers. The we, people of Saskatchewan just continue to give. Yeah, so that's it's been good. it's it's been good. This year has been actually really good on Telemiracle so far. We're seeing really good numbers, and people are just being fantastic again. So thanks again for coming out, and uh, thanks for all your hard work this year. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, we've got some more folks, um, and we are heading to. Over there, over here. Um, I think we have some. Oh, right over there. Tape. Oh, we're going to tape. Okay, uh, we're gonna have Sobies. I guess is uh, is on tape here for us. So let's take a listen. Hello, Saskatchewan. My name is Todd Libel from Sobies. At Sobies and Safeway and IGA, we've been a proud supporter of Kinsman Telemiracle for years, and we've seen firsthand the difference Kinsman Telemiracle has made in our communities. Sobies has taken a family-based approach to what we do. This means we take care of each other, teammates, customers, and our communities. At your local Sobeys, Safeway, and IGA stores, we are a family, nurturing families, and supporting Telemiracle is a terrific example on how we bring our purpose to life in the communities that we proudly serve. I'm honored to be here today to present $50,000 to Telemiracle. On behalf of Sobeys, thank you. And congratulations, Kinsman Telemiracle. And congratulations to the great people of Saskatchewan. Stay safe. Wow, thank you very much. That's Sobeys with a $50,000 check. We appreciate all that. Okay, we've got some ladies here from Jansen and District Kin. Tell us your names. I can't tell. But with, the hat, with the hat and the mask and the glasses, you could be anybody. We really could be. I'm Terry Hamilton. Hi, Terry. And I'm Lindsay LaRue. Hi, Lindsay. And I'd just like to say we're pretty darn proud of our little uh, Jansen community and district with everything that we've done so far. Uh, we did, uh, well, the Jansen Credit Union girls collected three years of casual money and had $500. Um, the Lanigan Elementary School donated $622 that they raised um, wearing hats at school. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Lanigan Central High School uh, donated $1845. And I think there was a couple of teachers with uh, new hairdos, pink <laughs> hair and shaved beards and okay. shaved heads. 
Um, the Kelvington, Quill Lake, and Janssen Credit Unions raised $496 uh, collecting helping hands. Uh, the Kinsmen did a virtual uh, poker rally since they couldn't do uh, uh, the, uh, the regular, regular one, one, and they sure. raised $3,585. Wow, great. And um, the Kinets, our Kinet Club, organized an online auction. We had over 170 items donated. We had some items go, such as um, a dozen cinnamon buns from a local lady who is locally famous right. for her <laughs> cinnamon buns. Uh, went for $2,300. 24, 2400 bucks. And um, oh, wow. also some other baking and organ office organization services went for $2,500. Wow. Yeah, so it was Crazy. pretty wonderful. Our grand total for the auction was $24,206. Oh. Wow. You guys have been busy. <laughs> oh, we're not done. You're not done <laughs> yet. Not oh, done. Okay. Done. <laughs> Keep going then. I was, I, well, I'm the last one. I uh, was talking with my cohort, BJ. He's the kin, uh, kin, kinsman uh, telemiracle rep. And I said, you know what? I'm 50 this year. Let's do something wild. Let's shave my head. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, he wasn't bald to start with. Two, was he? 2000, I had long hair. I've had long hair for okay. 30 years. Okay. And I said, well, 2000 bucks. And then I thought, you know what? If I'm shaving my head, let's do 5000 So Wow. There you, got you 5, go. <laughs> <laughs> then my brother came along and said, well, you know what? If uh, you get to 10000 I'll shave my beard and my head. And he looks like Santa. Well, he looked like Santa Claus. Right. So we got that. <laughs> and then my other brother said, "Well, if you get fifteen thousand, I'll shave my head." Wow. So we finally ended up with around uh, seventeen thousand two hundred and six. Oh my gosh! Wow, isn't that fantastic? How many people in Jansen? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight <laughs> people. <laughs> we draw on a larger surrounding yes, community. Yes, we do. Wow, well. you only have ninety-four with hair now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Only 94 people with hair left. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So before we give you our grand total, okay. I just wanted to say something. So although Terry and I are both Jansen kin, we also both serve roles on the Kinsman Foundation board. Okay. Terry is a zone rep, and myself, I'm vice chair. So what that means is funds raised at Tell Miracle 45 this year are funds that get to be spent on the people of Saskatchewan in my year as chair of the board. Okay. So I am so incredibly proud of our community and our surrounding communities so that, that we can present to you a total donation of $52,587. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. You guys worked so hard. That's going to go a long, long ways yes. in bumping up our total, that's yes. for sure. Well, keep up the good work. Say hello to everybody in Jansen oh, and that. keep that community live and vibrant and Absolutely. going on. And you, if, if the whole town has to shave their head next year, <laughs> so it be it. It was just about getting there. Okay. Well, thanks ring a lot for your phones. ring those ring phones. phones. Wow. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Okay. That's fantastic. <laughs> wow. Okay, Andrea, what do you have going oh on Oh my over gosh, there? I'm Isn't so inspired great? by that story, but that is the kind of heart that I am talking about in Saskatchewan. Wow. Oh, okay. So we are now going to hear from some more Saskatchewan talent, but I would just like to say that, you know, I come from a really strong culture. I'm a Métis woman. I have a strong Métis culture, and we're going to hear from some incredible communities that have strong culture too. So we're, let's, we're gonna talk to someone from the Chinese elegant dance class. And I think we have Ro Jing Wang. Hello, Ro Jing. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? Good, thank you. So what can you tell us? What can you tell us about like your dance and what, you're, what we're gonna be seeing today? Uh, so this is the first time for Chinese community to participate this event. So we are very excited to be part of this. Uh, so the dance we performed is, uh, um, is a Chinese lady wear a traditional dress, mm -hmm. dance outside after a rainy day and uh, with a beautiful scenery. And so we are enjoy the beautiful day outside. Um, so that is our dance. See, I love that because it's a very cold winter day. <laughs> you know, you've had it in Saskatchewan. <laughs> no. And you're in Saskatoon now, right? So you've had a very cold winter yes. day. So this beautiful dance is going to bring us to a warm, beautiful day. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yes, we are looking for the spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear you. Well, thank you so much for being here. And now, how many people are in the dance troupe? 
uh, our class have uh, oh. about 20 people, but uh, oh. but we have about 10 people participated this uh, performance, less okay. than 10, Well, I thank you, Rojing Wang from the Chinese Elegant Dance class. Let's take a look at this dance.